uh, engineering for me was kind of a natural progression uh, from my childhood and that like when I was a kid I would always take everything apart and see how it worked and half the time I couldn't get it back together. I was always a big fan of Lego and then as I, as I went through school I took physics. It taught me how things work and why things work the way they are and, and, uh, and then engineering, I mean that's it, that's from building things to physics to engineering, it's just, that's just the progression you take and, and now it's like, uh, it feels like I'm playing Lego all over again. My name is Nick DeRitter and uh, I, uh, I'm a structural engineer. We make the artistic vision of the client and the architect uh, come alive in a safe way that's gonna, gonna stand and, and uh, will not blow down in wind or fall over in an earthquake. Yeah, the design process really starts when um, somebody wants something built and, and so what they do is they come up with an idea and then we work with the architect for, uh, it can be upwards of, of a few years. Uh, and then we'll figure out kind of what size the beams need to be, what size the columns need to be, and uh, we put it all together. We work with them uh, very closely to make sure that the building in the end will stand and, and then it's ultimately what the client wants. Right now I'm working on a project at UBC, uh, it's called SIRS, it's the Centre for Interactive Research on Sustainability. It's a four-storey structure, it's got a uh, concrete foundation. The, the four storeys are mainly made of big, large wood columns and wooden wood beams. And so this is where we have the big columns uh, with the beams and then the, this is, this is the steel. So those straps run continuous along the whole building. And, uh, and they help with the, uh, all the pulling forces that are on the wood. SIRS is, is elite platinum building, which means it's, it's checked a lot of boxes, and, uh, and it's a very environmentally friendly building. Uh, it does rainwater collection on the roof. Uh, it recycles all of its water in, in its own water recycling plant in the basement. Uh, it's got geothermal heating. It's got solar, uh, solar panels. Um, it recycles waste energy from nearby buildings. There's uh, the move to a sustainable design and sustainable building practices has really had an impact on the way that we design buildings in that we need to be much more aware of the materials that we use, uh, the waste that we may produce, um, the energy that is used to, to make the materials. Um, it's all kind of had an impact. There's a, there's a few different standards that have come out and, uh, and they've really played a part in trying to pick the right material to use. Juggling projects is always a um, it's always a bit of a challenge, especially if everything's in construction. Because thing with construction is you don't want to be the guy that holds construction up. And uh, if they're pouring concrete the next day, you know, you got to make sure that everything's done. And so as things come in, uh, you've, you've, got to figure, you've got to prioritize and figure out what needs to get done. Right now I have somewhere around eight, eight on the go. Uh, the best part of, of the job, and the part I really like, is, is at the end. Um, and that's when you know you have this tangible, uh, this tangible product that you can, you can really like walk through and you can see and you can see all the connections and see all the different beams and everything that you've uh, put so much time into.